हाई स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू फिजिक्स क्लासेस टूडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिज्म प्रीवियसली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्रीवियस लेसन इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इलेक्ट्रिक करंट आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिज्म नो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिज्म If anybody didn't see in electric current lesson, once you can see that. I'll share that link in the description. Now electromagnetism. Now earlier we have thought that electricity and magnetism two different fields. Electricity and magnetism. Electricity and magnetism were two different. two different fields in the science now arsted hans christian arsted is a scientist he done experiments on these two and he said these two are interlinked these two are interconnected based on that we have lesson electromagnetism electro magnetism electricity and magnetism both are interlinked both are interlinked so based on that we have lesson electromagnetism now orsted is a scientist he did experiments on these two and explained some topics to honor him his name is kept as a unit of magnetic field strength unit of magnetic field strength is or state my unit of magnetic field strength is or state now we'll discuss one activity to relate electricity and magnetism we'll discuss one activity to relate electricity and magnetism now to do this experiments we need we need one thermocol sheet one thermocol sheet and two sticks with the splits two sticks with the splits these two sticks should stand like this perpendicular to the thermocol these two sticks should stand perpendicular to the thermocol and we need one electric wire we need electric wire that electric wire should pass through these splits and this wire is connected to switch and battery either 9 volts or 3 volts battery switch whenever we switch on current flows through the wire whenever we switch on electricity will flow through the wire current will flow through the wire apart from this we need a compass magnetic compass what is the use of magnetic compass which shows north south directions which shows north south directions we as it is considered as earth as a big magnet and it will show the north and south of the earth it will influenced by the magnet if it is placed in a open place it will show north south direction of the earth because directive property of the magnet whenever we kept a magnet near to it 
it will deflect whenever we kept a magnet near to the compass it will deflect because magnet will influences the needle this needle is a magnetized needle it will have the properties of magnet whenever we place a magnet near to it it will deflect if there is no magnet near to it it won't show any deflection it will show north to south direction of the earth now here it is arranged like this here we are placing a compass under the wire i told you we should place the this sticks perpendicular to the thermocouple sheet along that wire will be passed under that wire we will place compass magnetic compass now we will switch on we will switch on whenever we switch on electric current will flow through the wire electric current flow through the wire remember that there is no magnet near the compass we won't expect any deflection here generally we won't expect any deflection generally we won't expect any deflection because there is no magnet if we keep any magnet near the compass it will deflect otherwise simply it will show north to south direction of the earth because of the directive property now here we won't expect any deflection because there is no magnet because there is no magnet we won't expect any deflection but but this compass needle is showing deflection compass needle is showing deflection why it is showing deflection there is no magnet here here we are not keeping any magnet we simply kept a electric wire and we are allowing electric current through it electric current is flowing through it then why it is deflecting so we can say that current carrying wire produces magnetic field current carrying wire produces magnetic field current carrying wire is producing magnetic field due to that magnetic field this compass needle is deflecting due to that magnetic field compass needle is deflecting okay so we can conclude that current carrying wire is produces magnetic field current carrying wire produces magnetic field now what is mean by magnetic field previous activity we seen because of the magnetic field produced by the current carrying wire because of magnetic field produced by the current carrying wire compass needle is deflecting what is mean by magnetic field what is mean by magnetic field this is the magnet bar magnet north to south direction north pole south pole north pole south pole bar magnet north pole south pole i kept on the paper example i kept a bar magnet on the paper north pole i kept like this south pole i kept like this simply if it is freely suspended if it is freely suspended it will show north to south direction of the earth simply it will uh, rotate no so it will can it can show north to south direction of the earth i kept here it is unable to move freely now whenever i kept a magnet here simply think that it is a magnet if i place any magnetic materials if i place any magnetic materials near the magnet it is attracted by it magnetic materials or iron nails anything i place here that will be attracted by the magnet up to what extent it will be attracted like this here it will have some limit no some limit no for example 
if i kept here it is attracting if i kept here it is attracting if i kept here it is not attracting for example if i kept here it is not attracting means magnet can able to attract this magnet this magnet can able to attract up to here let us take up to here beyond that if i place it is not attracting this limit in the three dimension that is known as a magnetic field active region active region around a magnet up to which its attractive attraction its uh, capacity of attraction can be felt active region around a magnet up to which it in can able to influence the magnetic materials it is known as magnetic field in three dimensional in the three dimensional up to here it is able to attract the magnetic materials beyond that if i place it is not able to attract this is its active region this is its active region if i keep any object here it can be attracted by the magnet beyond that not able to attract so this is the magnetic field this is the magnetic field okay magnetic field it is in three dimensional here if i place attract here also it will attract here also it will attract the limit up to which uh, which extent it can able to attract that uh, region is known as that boundary is known as magnetic field this is now magnetic field lines simply we draw on here as a like uh, or a shape particular shape uh, uh, around this magnet up to which its influence can be felt now how the magnetic field it is in the form of magnetic field lines it is in the form of magnetic field lines north pole south pole let us take it is north pole and it is south pole let us take it is a north pole and south pole now magnetic field lines this magnetic field consists of field lines it will start from north pole and ends at south pole magnetic field lines travel from north pole to the south pole north pole to the south pole north pole to the south pole like that down also this side also north pole to the south pole when i am drawing by mistake it may be any point uh, touching but a magnetic field lines never intersect here mostly i done without intersecting only okay magnetic field lines never intersects magnetic field lines never intersects field lines never intersect actually this one also should start from south pole so no space now these are magnetic field lines magnetic field lines will travel from north pole to the south pole here also north pole to the south pole always it will travel from north pole to the south pole always it will travel from north pole to the south pole okay now here we will have a question are magnetic field lines closed important question number of times they are asking are magnetic field lines are field lines closed question here by seeing see this uh, diagram simply it is started from north pole and ends at south pole so can we say it is closed by seeing we can't say but uh, but actually magnetic field lines start from north pole and set south pole out of the magnet 
it will travel inside also from south pole to the north pole outside north to south inside south to north this can be understand by a different activities that we will discuss further here question comes no uh, question came so that i am explaining magnetic field lines are closed yes magnetic field lines are closed they will start at north pole and end at the south pole outside the magnet and travel from south pole to north pole inside of the magnet inside of the magnet so we can say magnetic field lines are closed magnetic field lines are closed okay thank you for watching please subscribe